Welcome to the IC3D tutorial video Displacement Mapping Part 1 – Applying Displacement Maps with Solid Models and Labels. In the Labels and Spot FX training video, you learned how to simulate an emboss or deboss effect using bump mapping. Now, with the new Displacement Mapping function, you can create a real, dimensionally accurate emboss-deboss to the model and or label that will become part of the finished model in IC3D. This short tutorial will show you how to apply displacement maps to your 3D models using two different techniques. Using this existing bottle design, we're going to add an embossing effect to the glass material. First, apply a label in the normal way to the area of the bottle where you want to add the emboss. Link the label to Adobe Illustrator. Place your design on the artwork layer and give it a spot color effect. Note the following when creating artwork for displacement maps. To apply a displacement map using an artwork element, the artwork must be set as a spot color. White areas on the design will have no bump when you apply the displacement map. Spot colors used will have a bump when you apply the displacement map. White areas need to be physically cut out in the design. Once you have completed your design, link to IC3D and update. Apply a spot material effect to the label using the Layers panel and apply a bump depth to your effect. Select the label with the required bump artwork elements and drag the Bump Displacement template from your template library onto the scene. The Bump Displacement control panel will open and you will be able to view the model without the label area. This is because the label was already positioned correctly within the scene and will enable you to focus on your bump effect. First, enter a displaced height value. This is the value that the displacement map will be pushed out or into your model. If you enter a positive value, this will give you an embossed effect. If you enter a negative value, you will get a debossed effect. Click the Update button to see what your displacement map will look like when added to your model. If you are not happy with the result, you can use the Mesh Smoothness and Edge Smoothness sliders to improve the effect. Mesh Smoothness will make the overall displacement smoother. Edge Smoothness will make your edges sharper or smoother. Note that these controls should be used in small increments and update your preview regularly to improve the template responsiveness. You are looking for the minimum value for each control to achieve your desired effect. Leave the default value to apply the displacement to the underlying solid model. Or, another option is to select Apply Bump to Label to apply the displacement just to the label itself. In this example, we are going to apply the effect to the solid model's mesh. Once you are happy with the displacement effect, click the Save to Model button in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can now see your specified effect on your model. Notice that the label is still movable. This gives you the ability to slide the label to another location to create the same displacement effect on a different area of the model. If you don't need to do this, then simply delete the label to remove it. So far, we've created an embossed text element on the side of the bottle. We can also use the same technique with logo and pattern elements, like those used on the label we placed on the side of the bottle. Simply delete this label to reveal the effect that was created earlier. You can now export your finished model using one of our usual export methods. You may want to see a quick preview of what your model would look like as a ray traced render. An alternative method to create the emboss deboss effect is to use a texture map from the materials library for example, a PNG or JPEG file 
that has been created in and exported from Adobe Illustrator. Using a base artwork layer linked in Adobe Illustrator, place your desired art for the deboss effect. Export your design as a PNG or JPEG. Select your model in IC3D from the Object Editor panel. Open your model data and double-click on the material applied. The Material Editor window will now open. Click on the Texture tab and click the checkbox next to the Bump Map option to turn this feature on. Now click the Open File icon under the Bump Map options and browse for your exported PNG or JPEG file. Select the Height Map option and click back on the Properties panel. Use the Bump slider to apply a bump depth and then click Save to save the material. From the Template Library, click and drag the Bump Displacement template onto the scene. This will again open the Bump Displacement Control Panel. Create your desired displacement effect as shown earlier in this tutorial. You will also notice the artwork options are now active. This gives you the ability to select the correct colors of your design that you are using to push out of your 3D model. We will select the Highest Value is Black option based on our design. If you select the Highest Value is White option, this will reverse the effects that you see based on the original bump map we applied to the texture. Once you are happy with your displacement effects, click the Save to Model button in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can now export your finished model using one of our usual export methods. You may want to see a quick preview of what your model would look like as a ray traced render. This concludes the IC3D tutorial video, Displacement Mapping Part 1, Applying Displacement Maps with Solid Models and Labels.